Hi, everybody. I am the face behind uh, the Twitter account Ken Lambo and a Ken holder and enthusiast. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick video today for you to uh, go over some of the terminology in uh, cryptocurrency, make that a little bit easier to understand, and then go over my thoughts on Ken, why I think it's going to be big, and why I think that. Uh, you know, in the future that it is going to help bring, uh, you know, cryptocurrency to the masses and it will be wide adoption. And, and why do I believe that? And I'll go ahead and show you the, the uh, what's coming in the future that I think is going to make that easy. So uh, we'll start and we'll go over just a couple quick, simple terms, right? Help everyone understand what the hell I'm talking about when I go through here and, um, you know, start rambling on about cryptocurrency. I can be somewhat technical, but even some of the stuff here when it comes to crypto as a technical person, it makes my head spin. So let's go ahead and kind of go over the bits and pieces uh, and break down cryptocurrency really quick. And uh, once you have that understanding, I'll go over some of the great things uh, about Ken and how uh, I get the information and how I stay on top of it. Uh, and, and, and really it is a good time to buy right now, my, my, you know, my opinion. So, and I'll, I'll explain why that is right now. So, we're going to go ahead and look at an exchange, okay? You know, I showed you Ether Delta and Bancor.network, and I'm going to go ahead and show you another one, uh, Coin Falcon. I don't really endorse it, but it's got a nice interface, and I can go ahead and look around and see what the price of Ken is. And, and why is that important? Why are these exchanges important? Okay, uh, the exchanges are important because they help set the price of the currency and where you can buy, where you can sell. Again, I prefer decentralized exchanges. You know, I can't, it's really hard to get your kin stuck there unless you make a big mistake and send it somewhere else. Uh, so that's why I kind of use MetaMask or, you know, other applications to do it. Uh, I have had kin stuck for several days while the administrators have a site uh, work on things. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look here. If we go to Coin Market Cap and we look at Kin, okay, we'll go ahead and refresh it. We'll see what the price of Kin is. Okay, it's uh, about you know three satoshis, right? And everyone says three satoshis. You know, what's a satoshi? Uh, took me a while to kind of you know understand that, right? And when it comes down to what a satoshi is, it's a thousand, a hundred thousandth of a bitcoin, and um, you know it's not much right now. But you know the, the the bitcoin value is quite quite high. So you know it, it's it'll cut probably fractions of a penny or you know close to a penny. I don't know, but we'll we'll get there. How we kind of break that down. So, but let's start with one of the important things is why I think that Ken is going to be big is the blockchain. Uh, right now they're on an Ethereum blockchain and they're going to be moving to something called Stellar, which is noted to be a lot quicker and a lot more efficient than the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, we can see when the CryptoKitties craze came out that everything got really slow. So, uh, and that kind of slowed down product development and you know, testing for Ken because we, you know, no one could really do anything because all these damn kitties were being bought. So what is a blockchain? A blockchain is simply a ledger. Uh, what is a ledger? Just like in a checkbook. You write a check to your power company, you write it down. Uh, in this case, it's in there forever, right? Just like your bank keeps bank transactions. And uh, you can refer to that blockchain to see where the transaction, where the payment went. Uh, it kind of takes your checkbook ledger a little bit further okay so on the blockchain you can see any transaction that's out there you know the wallets are anonymous so there's no name tied to them so everyone can see on the blockchain exactly what a transaction looks like so uh, you know what I'll do is I'll go to etherscan and um, kind of show you uh, what that kind of looks like right we've got transactions okay uh, I can take through here. I can see where it went, where you know where it came from. Uh, I can see what was sent. I can see uh, the type of cryptocurrency. I can you know I can kind of see whatever I need to see. Uh, there is that level of anonymity because the wallets are anonymous. So it's your checkbook ledger, but no one knows who the hell owns it. But they know you got 335,000 in it, and they know that you're 
doing transactions. Uh, and, you know, this is just an example here. Uh, you know, this is why you want to protect your private keys and your public keys, okay? You know, because everyone can see it, but they don't know who you are, okay? Uh, so, moving back, you know, someone says, okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on the blockchain. I know my stuff is going there. I know what we can track it. I know it's anonymous, but I see these things called gas fees, okay, gas limits, uh, stuff like that. W what the heck is that, you know? So, we'll go over here and we'll get a nice little visual from my Ether wallet. And what is gas, right? What is gas limit? Uh, all this fun stuff, okay? So I'm going to give you just an easier breakdown. It's like sending a wire at your bank, okay? I want to send a uh, wire to my brother in Kansas. And the bank says, okay, come in, uh, you know, give us, we have your money. We'll go ahead and send that in the transaction fee. For sending that is $30 normally at the bank. Now, uh, how gas kind of works is uh, on, the, on the blockchain is the busier it gets, the more expensive it is. The less uh, amount of time or the less transactions they have out there, the cheaper it is. So I might go there one day to my bank and say, I want to send another wire to my brother in Kansas. And they will say, okay, you're the only one in line. It's going to be $10 today. Okay. And I may come back the next day to do that same thing. And it might be $50 because there's a hundred people in line, but I have the ability to skip that line. Okay. By paying more. Now the initial fee will still be at 30 bucks, but I got to wait. Now, how does that, you know, go into uh, the blockchain? How does that get, you know, written to the blockchain? Well, you hear about mining. You hear about people buying all this equipment, making all this money mining, okay? But, you know, they got to spend a lot on equipment and power. And what they're doing is, is they're taking these transactions. They're taking uh, these, uh, say, math problems, per se, uh, and they're breaking it down and they're validating that against the blockchain. So they are solving a problem, a math problem per se, and they are writing that data, your transaction data, once it's validated to the blockchain. And they get paid for that in gas, right? So the gas money, the transaction money, okay? The, the more you pay, the quicker you get your transaction committed to the blockchain, right? And then it gets confirmed uh, by other miners, okay, by other, you know, different uh, miners on the blockchain, and that money that is put into these transactions that are sent are kind of split across who solves the problem first, who commits that data to the blockchain, and then everyone else kind of is back there confirming and, and saying, okay, yep, yep, that looks good, all right, uh, and moving on to a, the next problem or the next algorithm they have to solve, okay. So, now, you know, we're going to break down a Satoshi. What is a Satoshi? Uh, it is just, you know, a, denom a denomination is a fraction of a Bitcoin, right? It is 100,000th of a Bitcoin, right? And, and this is a lot of zeros. You know, that kind of uh, drives me bonkers trying to do that. There's too many zeros to look at. And, 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 and fr uh, you know, frankly, I kind of screw this up all the time uh, because there are just way too many zeros to look at. So if I want to kind of get an idea of how much a coin is worth, uh, I can go ahead and take 10, for example. I'll refresh it here, get the current price. I see that it's uh, a bunch of zeros with a three behind it for Bitcoin. And then I want to break that down even further. So I'll go over here to bestexchange.com and I'll put that number in and it'll convert it in a Satoshi to US dollars. Okay. Right now it is not even a penny in US dollars. Okay. One reason why I say you should buy Ken right now, it is uh, extremely undervalued in my opinion. Uh, and when the updates and when the applications hit, it is going to skyrocket in my opinion. It, there is a high market cap and that is for the simple fact that they are going to do a lot of transacting and quickly and diff within different platforms, applications with different developers, partnerships that you're going to need you know, that many coins, okay? You know, everyone's like, oh, there's 10 trillion out there. No, there's not 10 trillion out there. Go to kincommunity.io, see the frequently asked questions section on the release schedule. Over three years, there's only 756 billion coins out there for the kin token. So, you know, let, let's go read up on that, right? Get an understanding. Everyone's like, 
Oh yeah, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Okay, well I'm gonna help you understand why it's going to work, okay? So a lot of things have come out recently as of yesterday that I think are really gonna help make this product, uh, you know, have it, you know, really make it impact the market. And, and it goes hand in hand with the conversion to the Stellar Network and some of the services I think that they'll, they'll offer. So, you know, I go out there and we had an article come out early this morning on some statistics and I'm not going to bore you with that, uh, but it's got some things in there. If you are a technical person, you can read and I'm going to show you where I find them, right? So I go to the Telegram uh, application. I have it on my mobile and I have it on my desktop and I see the Ken announcements, right? So I can see all the announcements they put out and I get notified on my phone. And this is where I like to go through and read uh, and get a lot of the great updates. Now, why are the updates so big for the, uh, the Ken community? And, you know, why do I think this is what's going to skyrocket Ken, uh, you know, into the, the near future? And why, why do I think it's going to bring uh, cryptocurrency uh, mass adoption to those that are not technical? You know, I think it's going to be used against a lot of platforms. It's going to be used uh, for different uh, microtransactions, uh, processing, you know, purchasing things online, uh, transacting with your friends. I mean, I, there, the, I think the op, not the opportunities, but I think the the use case for this token is going to be just endless. OK, so uh, yesterday uh, what came out? are a lot of SDKs, so uh, development kits for application writers, okay? And why are these really important to the Kin token? Okay, these are important because these allow people to quickly get in, write applications for it, and release them, okay? It makes it easy to use, widely adopted for developers, right? Uh, a lot of these Kin, uh, Kin, sorry, a lot of these tokens, a lot of these different coins out there, Ripple, uh, you know, all these different, you know, red coin, all these things that are going to have this same type of use case really don't have a lot of these easy to use uh, development platforms, right? So they just came out with a marketplace server, okay? Uh, how can we offer uh, services with in a marketplace with Kin? Okay, that's big, right? People can take that and quickly implement a, you know, marketplace that will take Kin and that token. Right, uh, the Kin app server that just came out. Right, that's going to be huge. Look, you know, people are just now starting to see uh, that that application and develop it. Right, you know, develop on it, test it. Uh, you know, this is why I think these these are major major uh, breakouts for for Ken. Right, and people you know are, haven't really uh, seen this aspect of it. Right, and then we've got uh, a Stellar SDK. Right, Stellar is the the new blockchain that's going to be really fast. Uh, that that people can develop upon. Okay, uh, we've got an ecosystem API. How can we plug in with the token and into the the services and offerings? You know, how can we make that all work? Okay, that's your ecosystem. Uh, and we've got a, a Stellar, you know, SDK for iOS. Uh, a lot of these things are gonna go ahead and make development rollout the application creation of. Uh, you know, to the, the creation of apps to work with Kin, I think all these items are going to make it simple, make it easy, you know, plug and play, right? That That is the future, okay? You don't have to know everything about the coin. You don't have to really, you know, be an expert on cryptocurrency. This is what's going to bring it to the masses. They have a development kit. It's easy, simple to use. We plug into it. And away we go, and we're transacting with the Kin token. We are buying things. They make a wallet that's safe and secure. You know, this is a, this is not a small company, right? They've been working with uh, Kick. They've been doing development for a while. So there's a lot of advantage to sticking with this, uh, you know, with this currency. There are a lot out there, but you know, you have so many partnerships out there. You have applications that want to use it. You'll probably have new applications, and that 10 trillion, if it all were released which it won't be for, for a long time, that would break down, you know, trillions into billions, billions into millions. And that's the way you got to think about it, okay? So 
you want to pick up your tin now while it's fractions of a penny, you know? Because once they start, people start seeing the potential and what happens, what people do with this, you know, with the kin token based off of the capabilities that have been made by the company, uh, the possibilities are endless and the applications are endless. Uh, so, you know, I could bore you with technical things again, but I think if you check out the kin community.io, the reddits, the telegrams, uh, all those great things, you'll get better understanding of that where kin is going read the white paper right that that it that's hard to understand but i'm hoping to break that down and answer more questions in the future as we go on so this has been a quick overview why i think kin's going to be big uh, a quick understanding of cryptocurrency and, and what these terms mean uh and, and why is it important to you uh so you know we're gonna go and we'll go over some more you know basic things in videos uh, to help some of you newer uh, people to cryptocurrency now in the beginning you saw me sitting here looking at uh, an exchange and, and I and I wanted to go back and just kind of show you uh, why those were important again right as, as we can see I went over either Delta and Bancor.network which are the two highest used uh, cryptocurrency exchanges for kin right now uh, you know as that gets more widely adopted uh, on different larger uh, exchanges you'll see the price and uh, the volume go up right right now because they're going to transition from one blockchain to another it doesn't really make sense uh, for them to push to get on other exchanges that do not deal in you know with the stellar network so I think once the applications come out once the you know people see how easy it is to plug into the SDKs and, and develop upon this platform Ken is just going to blow up and it's going to be unstoppable. And, uh, you know, that that's my opinion. Uh, so take a look, guys. Do some more digging. If you have any questions, uh, check out the Telegram channels, the forums. Uh, check out my King community at IO. And uh, look forward to another video. Uh, I will do my best to address uh, some of the questions uh, that I get on Twitter and I get on my website. Uh, you can contact me through my website, kincommunity.io, or admin at kincommunity.io, or Twitter uh, at kinlambo. Uh, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.